intersection of solids. We are going to solve the intersection of these solids by use of limits. First of all, we'll have a look at the question. How to solve the problem? As you can see, in isometric drawing, we have a hexagonal based solid which is intersected by a prism. Now, take note of measurements and the location where the intersection occurs and locate these lines of intersection. Where to start? We will solve this question as mentioned before using the limits method. We will start by drawing an XY line. Now, we begin with plan. We draw a hexagonal based solid and we project the extreme generators from plan to elevation. This will give us the location of the overall width of the solid. Now, likewise, we will also project up the edges of the solids from plan to elevation. Now we can begin by drawing in the total height which is given in the question and also our front edges. Now we are also given the overall length of the intersecting prism. From this we can project across from elevation to the end view the overall height and also we can project down our overall length from elevation to plan of the prism. Now to rotate up the overall width from plan to end view to give us the total and true width of the solid. From plan and elevation we can position the intersecting solids like so. Now we can rotate down from end view to plan the location of the intersecting prism. Now a vital part to solve this question is the labelling of these four corners of the solid. The labelling of these corners will make it a lot easier to find the piercing points in the elevation. So from corner 1 we project across. This corner is then rotated down and found here and here in plan. Now to project up from these corners to find where the piercing points are as seen now, from corner 2 we do the same, locate corner 2 in plan and in view and where these lines intersect create piercing points. Likewise with corner 3, project a line from corner 3 from the end view across to elevation, also locate this edge in plan and project it up to intersect the line from end view, where they intersect will create the piercing point and finally the same in edge 4. Now as shown we are after locating which part of the hexagonal solid is shown from the front and which part is in hidden detail. So now we can locate the edges of our solid in end view which are going to be solid lines like so. As you can see corner 2 and corner 4 are both shown in elevation as both corners are seen in plan. Now to locate the hitting uh, detail line as shown and as shown. Now we're after locating the hidden detail in the elevation it is now time to locate which of these edges in the end view 
is going to be shown in the elevation. So we can see that edge 3 is going to be in full detail, like so. And we can also locate the hidden detail of corner 1 in both views, like so. Now, to get rid of all the construction lines and to show the full solution, like so. This is the question solved.